How's it going? My name is Jacob Pellicott. I'm from the University of Texas at El Paso, and today I'll be talking about the famous Bernoulli family. So getting right into it, I have a breakdown on what we'll be covering in terms of the family and then the separate individuals, uh, their life overview, and then the contributions to science. So the Bernoulli family were originally from Holland. However, Nicholas had decided to move to Switzerland uh, to avoid Spanish religion persecution. Um, so in Switzerland, they were a family of merchants, uh, more specifically in the spice-related business. And so if you take a look to the right-hand side, you can see up to three generations of Bernoullis, uh, where in the blue, um, these were eight gifted Bernoullis with some sort of mastery. And within these eight, there are three that are still talked about today. Uh, the first being Jacob Bernoulli, the second one being Johan Bernoulli, and lastly, uh, Daniel Bernoulli. So the first brother we'll kind of go over is Jacob Bernoulli. Jacob was born January 6, 1655 in Basel, Switzerland, where he died August 16, 1705. Uh, he's a well-known Swiss mathematician, um, where in his early life he was told to study theology and philosophy uh, by his father Nicholas. However, throughout his education, his interest was always shifting uh, towards mathematics. Um, Although he was kind of into mathematics, he did still receive his master's in philosophy in 1671 and a degree in theology in 1676. And so following school, Jacob traveled around the world to Geneva, France, the Netherlands, and England, um, all the while creating some type of relationship with other well-known mathematicians um, that are still taught today. Uh, and so following this traveling, um, Jacob ended up uh, in the later part of his life back at the university in Basel. Uh, from 1683 until his death in 1705, where he taught uh, over the area of over mechanics of solids and liquids. And so throughout Jacob's life, he had many contributions to science. Uh, first, he had proposed the idea of quadrisection, which is dividing a triangle into four equal areas using a couple perpendicular lines. And this was further expanded on by Euler in 1779. Uh, he also published work pertaining to his law of large numbers and probability theory in 1689, solved the Brachistochrone problem by defining it as a first order differential equation and using what we know today as the separation of variables. Uh, he solved now also the Bernoulli equation shown below and lastly he founded the function of E that is used by everyone worldwide. Next we have Johann Bernoulli. So Johann was born August 6, 1667 in Basel, Switzerland and died January 1, 1748. He was a well-known Swiss mathematician similar to his brother Jacob Bernoulli. Um, however, in his early life he worked with his father in the spice trade industry for about a year. Um, but th it didn't last very long because this wasn't something he wanted to do. Uh, he didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, so he went to school and got his doctor degree in medicine in 1694 with his research pertaining to muscular contraction at the University of Basel. He studied largely on Leibniz's papers over calculus while he was going to school and following graduation. Um, and afterward, he did meet and provide lessons to the well-known De La Hapital, uh, where Hapital published a book uh, mostly from the lectures of Johann, and this was very controversial throughout his life. Um, he was offered a chair at Hale and had accepted a chair at Groningen, um, for throughout his career. Um, following the death of his brother Jacob in 1705, Johann then took over as a professor at the University of Basel um, where he finished his career. So similarly to his brother Jacob, Johann had many contributions to science. In 1694, Johann was successful in integrating differential equations. In 1696, he had proposed the Brachistochrone problem to the mathematicians around the world, um, where these mathematicians were to take the idea of a bead starting from rest and being accelerated by gravity uh, and ultimately they were to determine a curve in which it would go from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time. Uh, ultimately there are only about six that were able to solve this including himself and so revisiting this problem he had formed the idea of calculus of variations. Lastly we have Daniel Bernoulli. Daniel was born February 8, 1700 in Groningen, Netherlands and died March 17, 1782 in Basel, Switzerland, and he was another well-known Swiss mathematician, part of this Bernoulli family. And so his father Johann uh, was wanting Daniel to take kind of sort of a different route 
uh, in a business type of career. However, Daniel ended up going into the University of Basel for philosophy and logic at the young age of 13 years old. Um, in 1720, he ended up going back to Basel uh, where he earned his doctorate degree in medicine with research pertaining to the mechanics of breathing. Uh, further out throughout his life, he did travel to Venice to study practical medicine. Um, he ended up taking the chair at St. Petersburg uh, where he was able to work closely with the, the famous Euler uh, from around 1727 to 1733. Um, ultimately, he returned back to Basel and provided lectures over botany. Uh, in 1750, he was able to uh, work as the chair of the, at the University of Basel until 1776. And so here we'll go into the contributions of Daniel Bernoulli, uh, where he designed a sea hourglass, he defined uh, simple nodes and the frequencies of oscillation of a system uh, with the well-known Euler. He worked on the idea of hydrodynamics, which is very important, uh, and he also published this, his work in 1738. And this work was kind of over the analysis of water flowing from a hole, uh, and this is all based on the conservation of energy. And you can see this example on the right-hand side, where we have a system full of water, and on the, on the right-hand side, we have fluid exiting through a hole, and depending on the height, this does change the velocity of the fluid. And this led to the Bernoulli principle, which is a concept in fluid dynamics uh, that describes the relationship between pressure and speed in a moving fluid. And so, along with this, he provided a basis for a kinetic theory of gases, and ultimately won very many grand prizes uh, of the Paris Academy Awards throughout his life. And from this presentation, I hope you learned a lot about the Bernoulli family as I did throughout this process.